Hello again. Uh, again, we're continuing our series on the post-mortem interval, talking a little bit about the stages of decomposition. So in part three, we talked about the third stage of decomposition, which is the active decay stage. So after the body has already bloated, it flattens out, and you see all those body fluids are scattered into the ground area. Next, we have our fourth stage of decay, the dry decay. This tends to happen about 20 to 365 days after death, so it can be a lengthy process here. And what we have is the remaining flesh on the, on the corpse starts to really deteriorate and dry out. The whole body is going to dry out. And so you're going to see the decay process, once it's dry, happening very, very slowly because you don't have that moisture uh, allowing it to speed up. And you see, at this stage, the corpse is mostly reduced to hair and bones. And then finally, later on, we'll get full skeletonization of the remains. So here in our dry decay, we have our um, body is very much drying out. We see a lot of insect corpses uh, or uh, pupa all around the body, lots of stuff on this body. And that's because we see um, major insect secession. So that means the insects are leaving the body. Because it's starting to dry out, they're no longer really interested in it. Um, so you see also during this stage that the areas of the corpse that are in direct contact with the ground are going to start to mold a little bit. Just like if you have some bad cheese or something in the refrigerator, it's the same basic molding process. In this next slide, we see that some bones are starting to actually break through that soft tissue, starting to break through our very dry skin, which is sort of starting to take on a leathery appearance and probably a leathery texture as well. And at this point, we don't see um, very much insect activity at all. Again, they're not really drawn to the body anymore because it's not very moist. Um, at this point, we also don't really uh, sense much of an odor. So the odor of decay has long since come and gone. And then finally, we get to skeletonization. So this can take a little while depending on the environment. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Um, and so you can see we have bones exposed here, and we have our pig corpse that started out fresh and pink has since uh, decayed very much, and all we have left is just the bones and the skeletal material behind, and a few little bits of hair and things as well. So this concludes part one of our post-mortem interval discussion. Uh, join us again for our next part where we talk about forensic entomology.